basically got cut off and I was saying I was going off. I was watching myself in the camera going, human and uh, okay. human and they have a heart. Right. That's all. <laughs> so uh do you remember what got cut off right there? Or Not particularly human, but basically you were saying that they are human indeed and so treat them like human as well. Right. Recognize their human side. Even if they are being trolling, trolling. Right. I don't oh. know if the recorder caught the part that um that that they were. I mean that they're if they're attacking you, then they're, they're the reason why they're being a troll is because they are <laughs> trying to find fun at, at your expense. And so when you respond to them, when when you react to them, that's not respond. I mean when you react to them, <laughs> then you're giving them exactly what they want. <laughs> You're, ha you're having them win because they're feeding off your defensiveness to their attack and they're finding it funny. Yeah, I think we had covered that part uh, by the time the recorder cut off. But then I also went in of, and I didn't like the word having a winning. Okay, sure. And I wanted to make sure that that is clear that it's not about them. About them get, getting their purpose, the purpose, the purpose for why they originally did it. Right. It's just that they're getting their needs met and done in a way that is that's not very, not very nice. Yes, they're having fun at other people's expense, and that's what they feel control. Right. But that if um. <sighs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry they got cut off. Respond versus react, uh, the re <laughs> um, reacting is responding, but, uh, usually when you're angry, you don't respond, it's supposed to be when you're more calm, when you're in a calmer state. Yes. Wait, say that again. Okay, hold on. I lost my train of thought because I'm, I'm disoriented by the fact that the thing got cut off. What was the last thing that it said? In there? Mm hmm. You were saying that uh, there are humans too and they're heart and. And then you wanted to say something about them winning? No, I don't. I don't know if I said that. My, I don't know what got recorded or not anymore, okay? I know, but. So. But just now, when you talked about them, what is the point that you wanted to make? What was important about that? About what? Whether or not they were. What are you thinking about? Because you're obviously not thinking about the conversation anymore, are you? Just stay a moment. You go to take a breath. Okay, I'm going to take a breath. I am confused why you brought up the winning part. I didn't bring up my winning part. Yes, you said that if they, if the troll, the troll is is wanting is uh wanting you to respond that way that uh that way they can get what they're wanting to find your respect. And if you were. If you react to them, you're letting yeah, them win. If, if you react to them, then you're letting them win. Okay, and that was and the I phrase. Took that, that's the trigger phrase. Well, I'm sorry, it's a trigger phrase. I was taking that uh, the word winning from um, your show where there are two kids, two brothers were bullying the little girl, and the girl was not wanting to go to school anymore. And the teacher was saying that if you're sending a girl, well, if you're not wanting to go to school anymore, then the boy's winning. Right. Um, right. And, uh, but I wanted to, um, I wanted to make sure that that's not how we viewed it as when we are losing. That it's just that the person was, because if you think of it as winning and losing, then it's going to be a competition. And I don't want you to think of it as a competition. What, what's a competition? If you stick in the word, if you use the word that they use in the show, winning or losing. Mm -hmm. 
then it becomes in your head subconsciously a competition. Does that troll win or do you win? I suppose you would you want to see those that way. Okay. Right, sure. right. So I want to avoid going that direction when you think about trolls of, oh, I better not react to them because then they're winning. Well, then you're, they're just, you're just letting them get what they were wanting and you're teaching them, you're, you're enforcing the bad habit of them thinking, oh, if I hurt other people, I'll get fun. Whereas if you don't react, then you're not letting them get fun. Mm -hmm. Meaning you're not enforcing that. Okay, yeah, I like that way of thinking about it. I like what you just said. I do. So that's avoiding the, but it, but it takes it away from the winning losing. It's just not you just being forced uh, uh, You just have a, uh, you don't like the idea of the troll winning or losing. I, mean, I, don't, I, mean, I don't like being in a competition with them. Okay, you're not, you're not in a competition with them. It's just a way to think about that you're, when you give them what you, what they want, mm -hmm. then they are winning because they are getting what they are wanting. The competition being who's getting what they're wanting. Are you getting what you're wanting of feeling safe? Or are they getting what they're wanting of having fun at your events? Right, and I don't want it to be a competition about that. I want it to be where what you just said a second ago, well, which is... Well, not that you can get both. That's right. It's hard. Well, you can always have a win-win situation. I suppose, but um, it's kind of hard for you to feel safe while they're still having fun at your expense. I mean, unless well, you just ignore right, it. but then you have to go beyond unless what... Unless you just do... Unless you just act like you're not feeling safe way for them to have fun, but in your heart, are feeling safe, but fun. That is one way of doing a win-win, but I was thinking that in order to have a win-win, you have to figure out why they're trying to have fun at your expense, and they're trying to have fun at your expense so they can feel empowered by life. And so it is possible to have a win-win where you feel safe and they feel empowered. Yes, but not with them necessarily, or it's very hard with them uh, to be... If, they're, if their way of getting empowered happens to be how to play with sets. Yes, but my problem with winning and losing is that people tend to forget that... There is a win-win. There is always a win-win if you go to the deeper level of the pure basic needs. And it's not that they're trying Definitely, to have yes. fun at your... If, if, the, if the competition is them having fun at your expense versus your feeling safe, then you're doing a strategy versus a need and you can't have a win-win with a strategy versus a need. You can only have a win-win if you do a need versus a need. Right. And a everybody plus, seems to forget that. A plus that. B squared does not work. A squared plus B squared does work. Or what did you just say? I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I got lost in that. Okay. Still free? Yes, but, but the, the, the <laughs> point that we're getting across is that uh, if to you avoid compare a need to a need, to a need or to compare a need to a strategy, uh, right, and that's the reason why I have problems with people using the win. Oh, they're gonna win because you're not. Most people aren't. They're gonna win using their strategy. Right, and it's not about them winning using their strategy. It's a question about them winning their needs and making. And, and it becomes. And people forget to get their needs met. You don't. You don't win if only you won. Well, unless you're a troll, I mean, but if you, I mean, most people don't think of it that way. Most people do think of it as, I win, I, I get my needs met, I win. You don't but when it points. comes to needs, you really haven't won unless you get the other person's needs met too. If you care about them, but trolls don't care about people. That's what they're doing. What they're doing. They're not finding different strategies to them. Right, but as a non-troll. You need to realize. Okay, I would sure. like that the world. That would be something for non trolls to realize, yes. That they're, and you know, and, and, and that's for the trolls to realize technically, to help them find a better strategy. But I think that's my problem with society is that thing, as I think that, um, and, that, and my problem with people using the win lose situation, the word win in that, and that's the reason why I had a problem with the wording of it in that show, is because I was furious that all of a sudden, the emphasis because in the rest of the show My, in the rest of the show they do emphasize getting the little boys needs met too. Yeah, my you were kind of just emphasizing that particularly I mean no, I don't think it much emphasis was actually placed on I'm just looking at Meyer storyline. 
and it was really just used as a... It was just as, a random comment. It was used as an analogy to help the little girl to understand right. the situation better. But, but that, that phrase... That really complicated analogy. Instead, using it as a simple analogy. But yeah, it oversimplified stuff a little. Yes, but my problem with that particular oh, but that particular choice of oversimplification is that, like you, people go out and they remember only that phrase, don't let them win, and so subconsciously, mm, underneath it all, it's no longer about getting everybody's needs met, it's about winning and losing, a strategy versus a need, and it's, and people miss out on the point, and and I get so furious because the the real point ends up getting lost, and it just oh, it infuriates me. Yeah. Okay. I, I get your point. I see your point is why why you're angry. Okay. So let's um, leave out that helping. You don't want the other person to win. You don't want their. I liked how you reworded it originally, which was <laughs> you don't want the other person to. Uh, get their habit reinforced. Yes, you don't want their habit to get reinforced. Right, so you don't want to reinforce their habits. So right. If you're rephrasing it that way, you don't want to right. reinforce their habits. It's a simple Pavlov's play, uh, play dog, right? The what? A simple Pavlov's dog. Pavlov's dog. How do you pronounce it? What? I don't remember the, how it goes. Um, you ring the bell, and you put food in the plate. Yes. Right, so the dog realizes that when you ring the bell, you can put food in the plate right afterwards. So when you ring the bell, the dog starts getting hungry and starts barking for food. Right. This such a thing as negative reinforcement? Yeah. So you don't... You the trolls are getting negative reinforcement. Because <laughs> they are doing a negative action, and then they are getting reinforcement to keep on doing that action. Because people respond or react rather. Well, I was going to say they're getting positive it. reinforcement when people react that this is an okay thing to do because then they get their needs met for right. feeling empowered. So and it's that's, a positive that's reinforcement not, well, for them. For them, it's a positive reinforcement. Oh, so I see what you're saying is negative reinforcement. So negative reinforcement would basically be uh, you read the bell and you don't give them the you food. You don't give them food, right. And so then they associate ringing the bell with not giving the food. So if they associate being or rather, mean but usually with actually, no reaction. it'd be more more like um the dog has some buttons and the button if you press the red button then it doesn't get food. If you press the blue button, he does get food. Red buttons negative reinforcement and blue buttons positive reinforcement. Sure. That yeah, that because negative reinforcement has to be interactive from the person receiving it. Right. Whereas positive reinforcement does not require the person receiving it to be inactive. Right. To, to be active. So. <laughs> yes. 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 You don't want trolls to be re reinforced with the idea of. Right? Don't give them happiness from their strategy, then it's less likely like to keep on doing it. But you do if enough people do not do it anyways, then they will learn to not do that because it's obviously not going to work. If enough people don't. Enough people don't react. Don't then react, then they'll. They'll lose interest in it and they'll find it completely different strategy. Right. Um, right. So, um, there was a word that you said that triggered me that they're giving them happiness. Um, no. Because you do want to give them happiness in the end, you but just want to give them happiness for, different the, strategy. Yeah, for so a different strategy. You don't want to reward them with happiness for a strategy to For a negative well. strategy, yeah. You don't, want to, you don't want to give positive reinforcement to a negative habit. Yeah. You want to give positive reinforcement to a positive habit. Yeah. Okay, and then that reminds me of going back to the original thing that the part that the recorder did miss and the, uh, got cut off at the part we were talking about reacting versus responding. So in order to be able to give them the right kind of enforcement for the right strategy, <laughs> you can't react <laughs> when you're feeling so there's a statement, do you, and, oh, and it, so the reporter didn't catch, do you know the difference between react and respond? Yeah, uh, if you say react and respond is, reacting is... Now, originally when you said this, you didn't know what it meant. Well, okay, sure, but... Because you said originally it was the same thing. Well, they are tactically basically the same thing, uh -huh. or they can be used interchangeably. 
Theoretically. There is a small nuance difference where the we're reacting is uh, doing something in a more negative attitude when you're angry, whereas responding is supposed to be in a more calm or relaxed attitude. The way I've often heard it is that reacting is when you react from an emotional state, whereas uh, responding okay, is when you do it from... Okay, everything's an emotional state, hello, so bad words, or... Well... Not that can be very descriptive. Where, where reacting is when the emotion is controlling the situation, whereas responding is more of an analytical... Negative. Huh? Specifically negative emotions controlling the Usually, yes, by context. Yeah, sure. But um, reacting, I think in the scientific, when, you, when, when, when I hear it in the scientific community, I hear reacting is from a emotional, where the emotion is controlling the reaction versus responding is from a more analytical. More analytical, more supposedly, logical, supposedly more logical, but emotionally calm. For, that, to be other? more descriptive, and emotionally calm, because when you're emotionally calm, you're more likely to be, to be making decisions based on more logical, analytical, right. three points. So it's the reptilian versus the mammalian, or, you know, amphibian versus reptilian brain or something, you know what I'm talking about? Reptilian versus mammalian. It's amphibian and reptilian. Yeah. Amphibians are reptilians, uh, or, well, some of them are. Some, some reptilians are amphibians, all amphibians are reptilians, though, as far as I know. Uh, okay. Well, we won't go into that. At least, in we some way or another, after all, frogs are kind of like lizards, they do have scales. That's another discussion for another day. We're not going to have that right now. Um, right. So, but um, and most dinosaurs were right to me. Well, one of the things that it, the, the recorder missed when it got cut off before was um, making sure to emphasize that reacting. That everybody else normally thinks of it as reacting versus responding, and I'm asking a third step to be put in there where you don't. So people say what you just said, which is that you need to be emotionally calm in order to respond, logically. Well, it's more, usually people will respond more logically or analytically it, uh, if they are emotionally calm, you know, they will react, you know, uh, react more, <coughs> more, emotion, more emotionally high if they are in, if they are in a negative state. Right. And my request is that people take it a step further of not just being emotionally calm, but to, because you can be having those labels and think that you're emotionally calm with but, those labels. And I'm asking but, that people go a step further and uh, find not, the person behind the labels, yes. Find the, find the person behind the label. Do not respond until you are no longer labeling them as cheater, labeling. liar, idiot, stupid. Hacker, whatever well, but negative <laughs> connotation. You liars have. are only liars if they lie all, almost all the time. Uh, cheaters, no. even if they do it all the time. Okay. If they're even if they're still recognizing the person underneath their name. Right. Exactly. Do not respond until you see past the label to the human, the equality of how they're just the same as you. I think some labels are using the like hacker. Well, to me, again, hacker is positive. Okay, thing, yeah, so. well, not, I mean, hackers and think hacker, hackers and, like, I guess, we code and jump, or make my ship jump around circles. Hacker. I can fly now. Well, okay, there's two types of hackers then. There's the game hacker, the uh, computer hacker, and then the thing hacker. Thing hacker, you know, hacks, life hacks. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> computer hacker. Viruses, uh, computer viruses. I just don't like the word malware because it doesn't. It, it doesn't. Okay, it's not description. It right, doesn't. Right. It doesn't describe accurately. There's negative and positive hackers. Okay, so and then so if you put a word behind the hacker, then game hacker would describe someone who tries to mess with the code so that they can fly around circles. Okay. Irregardless, we're we're dealing. I with can fly we're, now. We're dealing with a different topic of semantics in here, and we're this whole topic. Okay, this I whole suppose. conversation is just simply about my whole point. The very beginning of this whole thing was to not respond to this guy until you could get past your label of associating him as being stupid or associating him as being an idiot or associate <laughs> the egocentric to get past 
all the labels that people use out there and my problem is when my friends say, oh, he's narcissistic, therefore we should treat him meanly. Oh, he's psychopathic, therefore we should treat him meanly. Oh, he's uh, this, therefore we should treat him meanly. Oh, he's crazy, therefore we should treat him meanly. Oh, he's diseased. Any one of those Racist. negative labels <laughs> as an excuse what? to treat them meanly. Yeah, well, it just means the person doing this is technically racist. Huh? The person saying, oh, we give an excuse to treat him meanly. They're racist. Do you have a racist? Well, they're not racist in that the definition of racist means that it's oh, against a race. Oh, yeah, but they the same idea. They're, they're, race supplies m many, many things nowadays. I think another word that you might be a little bit more accurate is they're, they're, they're stereotyping. Sure, just stereotyping. But as long as you... But it turns out many stereotypes are inaccurate. Uh, the stereotype of... Um, uh, I don't a card. Think is inaccurate. It's the stereotype of a card drinking lots of hot, uh, Earl Grey hot is actually pretty inaccurate. He only does it three times in the in the entire TNT series. No, does he usually have it? What? No, does he usually have it? He doesn't. He only drinks it in a few episodes. You only actually see him order it. And he only actually gets it in, a few, in even less episodes because there's lots of times, uh, malfunctions inside the, uh, what do you call it thing? Does he ever order any other drink? No. That is the reason why it is stereotypically him ordering Earl Grey tea. Right, but he's but not again, ever we're going as on a tangent. Stranger. We do that. We love to do that. What's the, what makes our podcast Tangents. really fun? But we this podcast <laughs> is already an hour and Too a half long. long. I think it's already yeah, two like, hours. <laughs> well, probably two hours long by the time we are done with the conversation. Uh, yeah. So if anybody has sat through this, and hopefully they have sat through all the way to the conclusion of the whole point to everything is the whole thing, the reason, the whole, what I wanted Eagle to get <laughs> was that he was reacting to this person to one, not respond to him until he got into a state of calmness, and then a step further of... So don't react, <laughs> then... <laughs> Get calm and, respo and respond which only you did once. Do, which you did do. <laughs> you took a deep breath and you took a step right. away. But also, before you respond, get past the labels. Of As an excuse to be angry with them. Right. Instead, recognize the human inside them and their feelings and needs. You feel like you're not being met and they're okay. Yes. And, and it took us. And empathy for it, yeah. And it has taken us two hours to get to this conclusion. Is there well, any way I could have done this within five minutes? No. <sighs> Probably not. It's not even fun. It was a fun conversation, and hopefully people will have enjoyed this long dialogue, and hopefully we'll edit all these films together. But people, most people would not have had the... Uh, <laughs> attention span to have listened to this all the way through to the conclusion. Hey, come on, some people won't listen to audiobooks in one day, so they might as well listen to this. Well, I'm worried that there are a lot of people out there who only listened to a portion of this and left at the point where you were saying, oh, they're egocentric, and left at the point that they were like, oh, yeah, he's a mean asshole, and, we or left at the point of seeing your emotional reaction instead of finding the conclusion to this. So... In the future, maybe we can try to make things slightly shorter. Well, or yes. The, uh, less attention, uh, attention span. Equal. When I when I originally started this video, I thought it was only going to take us 15 minutes to get to this conclusion. Apparently not. And it took me a while to figure out how to formulate the words to this. So I am asking, what can we do in the future next time you have a reaction to somebody? that we can do to get to this conclusion faster and quicker, not only for ourselves and our own time and energy, but for also for our limited, our audience with limited attention spans. We could do this behind as behind the scenes, <laughs> as <laughs> just post this up on YouTube channel, and then we could stick into a course or something, or as Patreon content, we could stick up as videos, 
or uh, not edit the videos, but redo the videos and just make a quick video of what we did learn. Wait, that's all the German points. No, it's. It's probably, that's a lot more work than I wish to do right this time, because we have a lot of other work that we have to do, like getting affiliates and all that other stuff, and just yeah. making some money online. So, um, in the future, when I see you upset, and I want to do another dialogue like this in another conversation, uh -huh. what can we do to get to this conclusion faster? I have no idea. You have no idea, you said? Yeah. Alright. Well, maybe other audience members have a say in this, but what is our conclusion? We are going to end this and conclude this and finally wrap this up. The conclusion we walk away with is <laughs> that uh, everyone is a, a person as well, even if they're trolls, I think they are still a person and still have feelings and to get past the labels for them and instead try <laughs> instead have compassion for them and recognize the needs that they were not being met and the feelings that they were feeling when they they were, they were doing the reasons for why they were doing what they were doing and pain they were feeling and compassion. And to do this in every interaction we have with everyone. Oh and also when you're writing write in comments or stuff like that to before you send it. Make sure you take a deep breath and connect yourself and maybe do your stretch something. And then <laughs> go back and make sure that all your facts are correct. We'll try again to make sure. That way you not to make your facts incorrect. And comments do not based on just interact with anyone as long as you are labeling them as something. To avoid interaction with people until you can get rid of your labels and see them as humans like you. Have you done that with this person? Alright, well let's go get some food to eat and yes. um, speaking of checking in with yourself and standing up, if you are watching please, do you want to check in? <sighs> yeah. Thank you for watching and listening all of it all the way through. Think about a check-in. Do you need something to drink? Do you need some food to eat? Uh, I'm going to put my eyes on that. Oh, let's give each other a hug and then give the world a hug. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. come and oh, the kitty cat's like, no, no, I want to give. Wait, 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 Eagle, don't. That's okay. Just let's All go right. ahead and end the video. All right, let's give the world a hug out there. Okay, world out there, giving you a big. We're gonna give you a three-way big hug. Or go. Let's do like this. We'll go ahead and. Grabbing the room and go ahead and wrap all the way around. We're giving oh, yeah. you a big bear hug to the whole world out there. Big three-way hug to the whole world. We imagine you are in our arms and we're hugging you a squeeze and a hug and sending out our love to you. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I hope that you took our lesson from the that we <laughs> you learned from our interactions and that you walk away too from this video having maybe concluded, maybe you won't have the same conclusion that we had. Um, and maybe you would not reach the same point. Maybe you're still back at the very beginning of this whole conversation. But um, go listen to it again. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, listen to it all the way through. If you haven't listened, if all you just the skip, way through. If you just skip to the end, um, please try before you react and respond to anyone out there. Please, please, before you even respond to us, Try to imagine before you talk to anybody or interact with anybody, before you open your mouth and speak to them, try hard to, before you get after them or irritated with them, take a moment, as Eagle said, do what? Take a deep breath and get up if you need to. Take a deep breath, stretch or something, 
and then connect with yourself and connect with them and see how they are human as well and see what they are feeling or what needs they are not getting met and try to try to have compassion and empathy for them and see the reason why they did what they did. Uh, another suggestion that we never mentioned this entire two hours is wait 24 hours before you respond. If you can, yeah. If sure. you can. Um, or at least, at least do what Eagle said of just standing up, take a deep breath, stretch for a minute. Do that stretch. It is so important that you do that stretch. Look at something else, walk to another room, come back, and not only try to be polite, not only try to have compassion and be from a calm state, but try to not have a label. If you <coughs> if you are labeling the other person as crazy, silly, chaotic, diseased, insane, any label at all, it's negative, don't write. Wait first until you can figure out how they are human just like you and where they are coming from, what needs are not, what needs of theirs were not getting met, what feelings they were having when they wrote whatever they did. You wait to respond to them until you can connect with who they are as a human being. Even if it's just a guess, as Eagle said at the very beginning of this, you don't know for sure, it's just a guess, but do not react to them until you can imagine where they are coming from and why they did it and why they're being the way they are. Because everybody has a good side, everybody has a mean side. Remember, everybody is yin-yang. Yes. And you want to connect to their beauty before you talk to them. All right, I wish I could give y'all a big hug in person, everybody that we meet. Big hug to the, everybody in the world that is listening to this. Bye. Bye. Night.